Hey guys, it's Josh here at Iron Kite Academy in beautiful, wonderful, scenic Leesburg, Virginia. We've got Sean here with me. Say hi, Sean. Hi. Right? We're going to go over some of the biggest problems I see with grappling. The first problem that we're going to go over that I see people doing when they want to grapple with people is they suicide. So essentially what they do is they take their weapon and they go over Sean's back and then they throw themselves back on the ground and pull Sean with them. Right? That's awful, don't do that. You're not helping your team, you're not helping yourself. All you're doing is looking like you don't know what you're doing. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna go over after suicides is trying to do a throw without actually having posture. So Sean comes in and I get an overhook on his arm, right? I have an overhook on his arm and I go in for an uchimata or I try to pull his head down or something like that, it's not good. You can't really throw anybody with an overhook, okay? You really need an underhook to throw somebody. Now I can do my Uchi models, right? Now I can come in and take him down. Other things that they do uh, is they'll just get in here and they're trying to, to hug him, right? And they'll, they'll just throw him back and forth, right? So they're just not not in good posture not controlling my opponent's posture right just trying to do a throw without actually having any sort of control all right the next thing is breaking your own posture right the next it, it's a huge problem people break their own posture when they're trying to do a throw all the time so a big one is they bend over right so they'll come in here, they're fighting, and they'll bend all the way down right here. And then all Sean has to do is put weight on me, and I go into the ground. What they're trying to do is this. Lift the leg. But you don't have to break your own posture to do that. You come in, and instead of bending over, you squat and lift the leg. Now he's in a bad position. Along those lines, there's a lot of time guys will get in to these grappling positions and they'll look down. Yep. <laughs> right? With my wonderful sound effects, okay? Looking down, if you look down, you go down. Now I'm going to look up and do that same thing. Right? But if I look down, I go down. Last thing, most important thing that I see people doing that's awful. Standing square. Go ahead, John, stand square. Does that look like I did any effort at all to move him like that? If he's standing square, and I actually do something, I just take him down. Right? I weigh more than Sean. I'm about five to ten pounds heavier than him. If I'm standing square like this, it's really easy for him to push me. Right? Shoulders over thighs over feet. Front leg forward, back leg shoulder width apart, cocked slightly. Hands up, knees bent. Hands up, knees bent. If I push you, it's harder to move you. Right? I'm going to push you hard. Now get ready, right? If he's square and we get into this grapple, it's easy for me to turn him around, to throw him. If he's in his stance, I try to do the same thing, he can fight it. That's it. That's everything. Those are the, the biggest problems I see when new guys are grappling. Uh, if you like my videos, please don't hesitate to hit like and subscribe. Thank you, Sean. Thank you to my great camera lady, uh, Amber. Everybody have a good one.